How do you get fuller follow-ups that keeps customers coming back and back and back? We've asked a pro. Welcome to AutoBiz. Hey, this is Alex here with AutoViz or Trade Pending. Today, we've got Dabari Distin at Gatorland Toyota in Gainesville. So real quick, Dabari, how long have you been in automotive? Uh, I've been in automotive now for about four and a half years. Awesome. That, I mean, that must mean you're good at it, right? It's a good time. Yes, it's absolutely. Good. How has video changed your sales process? Um, the videos have changed my sales process in the way that I've been able to connect with my clients and everything like that. It gives them more personal, in-depth to my side of the business and what I do. Uh, it's, it's easier to make that connection right off the bat? Absolutely, 100%. I've had many customers uh, reach out to me and say, hey, you know, your video made a difference. Um, you've done something a lot different than the other stores have done. This is the reason why we came in and bought from you, because of your videos. How has video changed your follow-up process with customers? Um, so in the follow-up process now using videos, um, as I mentioned before, it, it helps you connect with your clients and everything like that. Um, so you stand out a little bit different from the rest. Um, you're able to kind of give a little bit of like check-ins with everyone, sending a quick video to them and everything. Just checking out to see where they're at in the sales process and what you can do to assist. While I mentioned at the same time, they can see there's a friendly face behind the camera and everything. So after the sales already completed, do you use video to kind of help customers figure out their car or answer their questions? I do, absolutely. Um, with now what you have in vehicles, there's so much new technology and safety features. Um, I often get people you know, responding to me after the sale asking me a couple questions. And so I'll reach out to them and send them a quick little tutorial um, of how to work their vehicle a little bit more if we didn't cover it when they came to pick up their vehicle. Um, and I always tell them, you know, if any questions they have, I'm like 24-7 IT support. So just reach out to me <laughs> and I'll get back to them as soon as I could um, answering their questions. Right on. Now, I, I, I got to admit, I, I looked at a couple of your videos. I saw one that you were helping somebody with a radio. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so that client came in for a service on their vehicle. They had a new radio system put in and they just wanted some help connecting their Bluetooth. I tell them if they had any further questions to so always reach out to me. So I sent him a quick walk around video, um, kind of a little bit of tutorial, pressing buttons and everything like that. So he has a better understanding of what he's doing. I mean, that's super useful and helpful. I mean, you're continuing that relationship with the customer after the fact and, you know, keeping that relationship with that customer is going to help you down the road, no, no doubt. Absolutely. If you could have one trick or one best practice that you do that sets you apart from maybe people on your team or, or other dealerships, what would that be? My personal advice is what I do is just I just kind of go with the flow. Um, oftentimes when you're making videos, you want to do a couple of different takes to make sure it's perfect. Um, but I believe something perfect sounds very robotic, so it's nice to have something natural. If you make a quick little error, it's okay to correct yourself and just mention it and, and you know, note it and let the customers know that you're also human as well. Everyone makes mistakes. You know, that probably helps bring down the defenses from the customer. Just realize, hey, you're a human too. Absolutely. So. Right on. Well, Dabari, thank you so much thank for you, using the video product. Thank you guys for providing us with a great tool to utilize and send out to our customers to earn more business. So. Now I'm blushing. <laughs> Thanks for having us out at Gatorland Toyota of Gainesville. Now, the best thing about this entire interaction is that he's a man of his word. Here's the follow-up clip he sent. Hey there, Alex. Uh, I just wanted to thank you once again for stopping by earlier and uh, bringing me some lunch and everything like that. It was great. Uh, I appreciate meeting you and everything like that. Uh, if you ever have any questions, always feel free to reach out to me. Uh, my points of contact, of course, you already have them, but they're on this video as well for you. So thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye. What else is there to say? Till next time.